You are kosher to Pesach. You are kosher, it says. And so the Rebbe of Kobrin, this other holy sage, do you remember how we were learning that in the Torah there's white space and black space, white fire and black fire, right? Who remembers that? Raise your hand. So who can tell me the difference? What's, what's black fire? Knowledge. Knowledge, good. And when you look at a piece of paper, it's in the parchment of the Torah, it's the, the letters. Exactly, it's the letters, right? A shachor. So when you open a book, the black ink informs you. Those are the letters. And so the, in the Holy Scripture, we call that the black fire. And so there must be an equal amount of what? Black fire. Black fire. Consciousness around that black fire. So the Kobrin brings something new for those that have been learning for the last few weeks. He says that you are a letter. Each of you are a letter in the Torah. You have a letter in the Torah. In the great story of humankind, you are a letter. And in order for you to be kosher, right? in order for you to have an impression in this world, in order for you to really express and create in the way that only you can, come, it's okay, to make a little north. You, you must also have white space around you. And the white space is that gas, that inflation, that makes the bill rise. So bread is not bad, although it is bad for your health. Or at least two-thirds of the world. The idea of bread, right, the fertile crescent, the idea of bread is not, it's not a bad idea. You'll have space in your life. It's how you fill that space that makes your life divine, that divinely conditions you. And so today I thought we wouldn't get so loudish, I wouldn't teach you so much today, because we're releasing the informative nature of the self, and we're moving into the conscious level of the self. I thought we would just move into silence, and we invited the whole, the whole orchestra here today, at least most of them, so that um, we can move into song and chant together. Because if you're going to have inflation, if you're going to have a little bit of space in your life, let's fill it with music, and let's fill it with songs. Can I have an amen? Amen. Okay. So I thought that we would sing and chant, and then we would move into meditation from <coughs> there. But I'd like to have at least 18 minutes of stillness today in honor of that commitment that you'll have through the coming year to give 2% of your day. It's nothing. 2% of your day to this practice. I'm just dipping into the nectar of nothingness. Okay? I'm 